back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you basic Linux navigation at the command line. So this is one of those areas where people are all excited to get into Linux. They install Linux, they get a blinking cursor, they think they know what they're doing, so they type in some commands, and then those commands don't work, and then they get frustrated. And then they go off to learn floral arrangement, right? Uh, one of the important things to understand when you're dealing with the Linux command line is that there are a couple of differences between the Linux command line and uh, the DOS world. And as with all things in Linux, if you type in the right commands, Linux will do what you tell it to do. If you type in the wrong commands, it'll go... <laughs> All right, so that's one of the reasons a lot of people get frustrated because they, they're not thinking about it. They just do the things that they're used to doing in the Windows world, and that doesn't work in Linux. And then they get frustrated and huffy, and again, they go off and start to arrange flowers. Uh, so one of the important things to understand uh, in the Linux world when you're navigating the command line is that the forward slash has a real meaning in the Linux world. That is your system root. So basically the first folder in all the folder directory, the folder that everything else is in, I guess you would call it, uh, that is the forward slash, right? So whenever you put in that you want to change a directory and you put forward slash, what Linux is going to do is it's going to go to the system root then it's going to look at whatever folders you have put past that, and it's going to try to drop you there, right? So if you're in a folder, let's say let's say you're in the home folder. So home folders where all the oh the user uh, profiles are stored. Uh, so let's say I want to go to Bob. I want to go to my profile folder in the home folder. So if I type uh, cd change directory forward slash Bob, how Linux is going to see that is it's going to go to the root of the system. It is then going to look for the folder Bob there. Well, Bob, the folder Bob isn't there. The folder Bob is in forward slash home forward slash Bob, right? So if you're going to change a directory in the Linux world, you would do CD for change directory, and then simply Bob, or simply the folder name that you're going to. So if you're gonna put in uh, a full path, so let's say I want to go to Bob and I want to put the full path in, I would do CD forward slash home forward slash Bob. That will drop me into Bob. If I'm in the folder home and I want to go into the folder Bob, I would be go CD space just Bob. So that's one of the important things. One of the things that really screwed me up about 12 years ago trying to do with this is I kept, I kept just, just screwing up with the forward slash. I was like, ah, what is this? Uh, the next thing that you have to remember is, again, remember in the Linux world, capitalization matters. Capitalization matters. Uh, if you have a folder, let's say Bob, a folder Bob named Bob in all uppercase letters, uppercase B, uppercase O, uppercase B, that's a folder. If you have Bob in all lowercase uh, letters, lowercase b, lowercase o, lowercase b, that's a different folder. If you have a folder, uppercase b, lowercase o, lowercase b, that's yet a different folder. If you have lowercase b, lowercase o, uppercase b, that's an entirely different folder. And then if you have lowercase b, uppercase O, lowercase b, that's an entirely different folder. So this is one of the reasons why naming conventions become really important in the Linux world. Um, because, right, if you're used to naming folders all uppercase, um, and then somebody else comes in and they're not used to naming folders all uppercase, and so they start typing in folder names all lowercase, those are going to be different folders and you're going to run into issues. So the big things to remember when you're dealing with the Linux world versus the Windows world is capitalization is huge, right? Uppercase B is different than lowercase B. So remember that. And also remember with the forward slash, if you do forward slash, basically how Linux is going to interpret that is going to go all the way back to the system root, then it's going to look for the folder and whatever path you have, right? So just keep that in mind. So if I'm in the home folder and I want to go into the Bob folder, I would simply do uh, CD space Bob. I would not do CD space forward slash Bob uh, because then it'll screw things up. So anyways, with that, let's go over the computer. I'll show you a couple of these commands. Again, navigation in Linux, really simple, really simple. You type in the right commands, it's easy. You don't type in the right commands, it's miserable. With that, let's go over, take a look at the computer, and I'll show you how this works. 
So here I am at the computer, and this is the just the stock standard installation. I have not done anything to this Ubuntu server. It's just the Ubuntu server. Obviously here it's 18.04.3, but everything that I show you today should, should theoretically work 10 years from now. Okay, so uh, we have the server login. So again, I'm gonna be Bob, password one, two, three, four, five, six, because I like my life to be easy. Okay, so we've got this. I'm going to type clear. So that will clear the screen. So I have a nice screen that's easy to look at. And then the first thing I need to do is I'm sitting here looking at this. And the first question I have is where, where am I? Mommy, where am I in this operating system? Because that, that's a problem, right? You're just sitting there and you're just looking at bl a blinking cursor and you have no idea right now where in the folder structure you are. So to figure out where the hell in the folder structure you are, you use the command PWD, you hit enter, and this tells you where you are. So I can see uh, I'm in the Bob folder, which is in the home folder, which is in the system root. So now I know I'm in the Bob folder. Uh, so let's say I want to change directory. So we use the same command we would in DOS, CD. Now let's say I just simply want to go up one level, make this easy. So I do CD space, and if I do period, period, what this will do is this will simply take me up one level. So let's say I'm going around and messing around with a lot of different user accounts. So, okay, I'm in Bob's profile. Let me go up to home. So this is, that is a folder where all the, all the profiles are stored. I'll go up to home, then I can see what's going on there. So if I do CD space dot dot, that will take me up one level. If I hit enter, we can see that I'm here. I can do PWD. And so now I see I am in the home folder within the system root. So that's pretty simple. Again, uh, if I wanted to change to a, a different folder, let's say I just want to simply go back to system root, I can do CD space forward slash, and I can go, to, now I'm at system root, I can do BWD, and there, there you go, I'm at system root. Uh, let's say I wanted to change back to the Bob folder. So, uh, so I have the, uh, the Bob folder up here, home Bob. So let's say I wanted to go back to that folder. Uh, what I could do is I could do CD forward slash home forward slash Bob. Now if I do PWD, you can see I'm now in that folder. So that's all you have to do to go up one level. You get to do period, period. Uh, and then if you want to go down one level, if there's a folder you want to go into that's in the folder you're at, you just simply uh, do the name. So again, so let's say CD, period, period. So I am in home right now. So what I can do is I can do CD and I can simply do Bob. So this will put me into the Bob folder. And if I do PWD again, I can see I'm now in the Bob folder. So it's really, that's really all there is to navigating around and seeing what folder you're in. The next thing that I wanna show you is how to do the list command. So the list command is basically gives you a directory, tells you everything that is in the folder you're currently in. So Bob has nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go CD and then I'm going to go back to system root. So we go to system root. I'm then going to clear the screen just to make things easier for us to see. And then I'm going to use the ls command. So the ls command is simply the list command, ls, I hit enter, and there we go. So now these are the files and folders that are in the system root. We got bin, boot, cd, rom, home, that's what we were dealing with. Um, we have uh, var, we have some of these other folders that we'll be dealing with in other classes. So if, if I'm in a folder and I just want to see what the, uh, the, what's in that folder, I can simply do the ls. But if you take a look at this, this ls command, it doesn't, I mean, it does give us the information, but this isn't the most useful way to look at the information. So one of the things that we can do is we can add, add an argument. So we do ls and we do l. Do LSL or LS space, sorry, hyphen L, hyphen L. You always, you got to put in the right thing, hyphen L. And then if you do that, now this gives us much more information and it gives us in a format that's a little easier to read. So again, just LS just puts it in a block like this. And this might be useful for you. Again, if you're just, you're like, crap, what the hell is the name of that folder? Uh, you can, uh, you can just you know, pull this up and look at it. But let's say you wanna look at some more information. So if you do the LSL command, this gives you a lot more information. So we'll be talking about a lot of this 
in different different classes. So if you, you don't understand exactly what you're looking at right now, that's okay. Uh, over here on the left hand side, this is the permissions. So basically, this is what people are allowed to do. So this is the owner of the the file or folder. This is the group owner of the file or folder, and then this is everyone. That's how permissions work in the Linux world. We will talk about that in a different uh, video. Uh, these are something called hard links. So how many links go to these particular files or folders? We'll deal with that later. Uh, then we have the user and the group owner. So you can have a, a user owner. So Bob can own a full file or folder, something like that. And then you can have a group, just like in the Windows world, you can have a group that owns a file or folder, and then you can you can put permissions towards that. So we have the group owner there. Uh, past that, we then have the size. Uh, so this size here shows us how big the uh, the, the file or folder is. Uh, and then we have the last modification date. Uh, so that's what's here and then over here again we have the names now if you're looking at this some people don't like the numbers out like this so one of the things that you can do is you can do ls oops you do ls space hyphen l and then h if you use lowercase h and what that is for is what's called human readable i can hit enter and so what we see now is the difference is now for the size this now gives us in, in kilobits or bits or megabytes or gigabits uh, if we actually get, get to that at some point. So this gives us an a size that's a little easier to read than here. Um, and so again, this is one, th one thing to be thinking about uh, when you're dealing with um, uh, things in Linux is there's all kinds of customization. For me, like I say getting a human readable size I normally don't care about, so I just normally use ls space hyphen l. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Uh, some people are like, no, I will I will take the extra time to type in the, the lowercase h so I get something human readable. Um, so if you're interested in something like the, the ls command, there is a lot to the ls command. Uh, there's lots of different arguments and things that you can plug in. I am just showing you the basics here. So then the final thing I just want to show you is that um, that really and truly that capitalization does matter, right? So we know that there's a home directory. So if we go PWD, right, we know we are in system root right now. And we know in system root, there's a home directory. So I can do CD space home. And so this will take me to the home directory, right? There we go. And so I'm now in the home directory. Now let's say, okay, I want to see what's in the home directory LS. And so we see, we see that there's a Bob folder in the home directory. So I'm thinking, okay, I want to go into the Bob folder. So what I'm going to do, just to show you with capitalization, because you can see the Bob folder there. If I do Bob, all uppercase letters, so this is B-O-B, not B-0-B, B-O-B, just simply all uppercase letters, and I hit enter, uh, Bob, no such file or, or directory. Uh, if I do CD Bob, no such fi uh, file or directory. If I do CD Bob, Blah, blah. And so if I do CD, keep it all lowercase because that is what the actual name is. And I hit enter. Yay, I'm in the Bob directory. Um, so that's just a little example that, yes, capitalization really, really, really does matter. And if you get stupid about it, um, it can cause you a lot of problems. So that's how to use the PWD command. That's how to change the directory up one level to go up one level. You do period, period. Um, and showed you how to do the list list uh, hyphen L uh, and how to change directory. And so that's really all there is to basic navigation in Linux. So now you too are able to move through the folder tree in a Linux operating system. Yeah! You can go up a level, you can go down a level, you can go back to system root, you can, you can list all the files and folders in a directory, you can list the files and folders with all kinds of fancy information like permissions and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so yeah, now you can move around. Now I know, I know some of the, I know some of the little snots out there, I know some of the little Linux snobs are out there going, oh, why is Eli wasting his time on this? Because apparently, I am the only computer person in the entire world that remembers when he was learning Linux. <laughs> Literally, way back when. Because again, when I had my computer shop, uh, Linux wasn't nearly as significant as it is now. And so literally, I was, I was learning Linux. We had to do some, some server installation. I was trying to figure something out. And I swear to you, the, uh, the forward slash thing screwed me up so much. Because again, I was an MCSE. I had years and years and years of Microsoft MCSE level experience. 
and I just wasn't used to the Linux world. And so I, I keep doing a change here. I CD space forward slash whatever folder I'm trying to get into. Fail, fail, fail. And literally, I call up one of my employees. I'm like, hey, yeah, um, what, what am I doing wrong here? It's like, oh yeah, yeah, don't uh, don't put that forward slash. <laughs> Thanks. And so it's not a joke. It's really it's one of those things where if you if you don't know what the command is and you're typing in things like you like you th you think you should be typing in things, um, it can it can really cause you problems. Also, uh, issues like with capitalization that that can cause some, some really big issues. If you have an employee or if you uh, are kind of stupid and you don't really think about coming up with naming conventions about how you're going to name things, and so you have some folders that are uppercase and some folders that are lowercase and some you got all kinds of different stuff going on that can be a real horrible pain in the butt when it comes uh, to doing uh, maintenance or trying to do troubleshooting again imagine you have a Linux server crashes you need to go in and change configuration files or whatever else and then somebody's gone in and done something weird with, with the namings of, of, of files and folders. Uh, generally in Linux, uh, the, the folders should be all lowercase. So imagine somebody goes in there and again, for some reason, they just put an uppercase letter for the, uh, for the first letter in all the different folder names. Um, yeah, huh. That doesn't sound like it should be a big deal. That's all right. Huh. How much, how big a deal could that possibly be? Like, yeah, that can... That can just make your life really, really annoying, especially too. Like, uh, you know, you you start doing things, you just start doing things from rote, right? You get a, you just, you know, muscle memory, right? So a lot of people like when you're doing administrative tasks, it's all muscle memory. You're just sitting there, you're typing in things, you're going here, you're going there, you're changing config files. You're almost not even really thinking about what you're doing because everybody, everybody does everything the same way for a reason. And then imagine, imagine you got that little noob tech that just learned Linux about three months ago. And you're trying to go in and do something, troubleshooting or maintenance on a server that they just deployed, and they did something weird with the naming conventions. You've got uppercase letters and lowercase, and all of a sudden, like you're going to type stuff, and then you keep messing up because even though you know that they did something stupid with the naming convention, your fingers just type out commands before your before your brain can uh, can get them to stop. Uh, so these are some of the kind of things to think about uh, when you're dealing with the, the Linux world and navigation. So now that you know that, we can start getting into some more complicated stuff and uh, really showing you how Linux works. So with that, as always, I enjoy doing this video and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.